Look, Laddie had a banana on the boat. That Laddie. I did, I did. She had a banana on the boat. I tried to hide it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about you, the car. You, I the forgot about it. We just had a extreme Arctic blast. And the weather conditions are still very cold. You can see the morning is very foggy. The water temp is around in the 40s. But Captain Char, he has some great spots for winter fishing. Some phenomenal spots that if you get a couple of days of 30s, maybe in a 40 degree temp weather, you can come out and book a trip with him and he's going to get you on some fish. So I was excited to be fishing right after this cold weather, this front that came through. Myself, Laddie, her friend Vince, uh, and Captain Charles, we set off just before sunrise to see if we can get on the fish. And we are armed with live shrimp and be fishing on a cork with the cork, voodoo cork, three foot leader line, 20 pound fluorocarbon yozuri leader line size 2 kale hook and we're just gonna go and enjoy the day and enjoy each other's company and see if we can get some fish After doing a little bit of drift fishing and no luck, we decided to move, which is very surprising to me because at this location, I have pulled out stringer and stringer of fish under these kind of same conditions. But maybe the fish are gonna be somewhere else. So let's get moving and let's go to plan B. Well, Capitan. The only thing colder than my hand is the fish. Right, so we're gonna be heading off to Plan C. Plan B didn't work either. You know, there's just one area right here that we're gonna try to hit and, and fish real fast. There's a uh, there's a little bit of oyster reefs, a uh, little bit of oyster clumps and reefs together on the bottom, a little bit of a sandbar, so a great place, a great area to drift over and fish, especially like under a cork that we're doing. So um, we want to give this spot, this spot a shot, you know, I mean the last two were zeros, so let's see, I mean the fish have to eventually wake up. I was waiting on him, it was a little, oh. He's on. Sheep it. Hey! There's a sheepy on deck! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Dang it! It's probably what I hit over here. On the roof, and the roof of his mouth, too. A lot of cats for this guy. Huh? It's a lot of cats for this guy. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. 16 and a half. See how they curve because he's cold. They curve like that because they're chilly. They're chilly. Oh, oh, yeah. Had to break the seal. Broke the seal with this guy. All right. So, this last spot, 
produced one fish and i'm not hating because uh i do enjoy catching fish we're gonna see we're gonna see now maybe the fishing is heating up maybe we're gonna get onto them now let's see we're gonna move to another location and fish a little bit of rocks i've had some tremendous amount of success here again same kind of conditions gotten some very very nice reds here so let's let's go see if we can uh see if we can locate some of these big reds All right, not so much. Okay, this is this is the reason why a lot of people don't fish during the winter time because it can be very, very, very tricky. I'm thinking that maybe because of the weather, the temps got so, so cold. I mean, we were like in single digits. Maybe that's why this pattern is a little different. We might just be ahead of the curve a little bit. Maybe after a day or so of the fish kind of warming up, they might be more active and they might be more uh, accustomed to feeding. So um, we're gonna try one more spot. Stay tuned. Let's see if we can find them. Look, Laddie had a banana on the boat. That Laddie. I did. I did. She had a banana on the boat. I tried to hide it. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about the car. You, I the, forgot about it. No, like seriously, like people, like for real, for real about that. Yeah. A banana, huh? Now I'm not a superstitious person. Neither is Captain Charles. We're not superstitious, but you know under these conditions and we just saw some guys hooking up and they probably caught like nine trout in front of us and we got on the same drift as them and uh we didn't get one single fish so maybe there is something to this banana curse i am not very superstitious and neither is captain charles but going forward i don't think we're gonna allow bananas on the boat i mean it just doesn't make sense why take the risk why run a risk um where you can have boat problems or in the case like us well we couldn't find the fish we just couldn't find the fish um there was fish there i know i say we couldn't find the fish but in reality there was fish there we did mark the fish we saw other fish boat another boat hooking up and that was the only boat we saw that day hooking up but it the fish were there and a lot of times during the winter time they're they're just reluctant to bite they they really are a lot of times in winter time they're hanging out they're cold they don't want to uh, really engage but if you have live shrimp and dead shrimp because we even use dead shrimp uh, you're gonna get those bites you're gonna get those reaction bites you're gonna get pinfish and we did get a little bit of nips and i did catch one one sheep head and we probably had like four or five other strikes where we we missed the fish and it was probably a good fish but you know you're gonna get those croakers you're gonna get the hard heads and gap tops and everything else the water clarity was was decent for the most part really good at other at some areas it, but the water temp was between 40 and 49 degrees and i know a lot of people say you know that is too cold that is way too cold but keep in mind that the area that we went to on this trip um typically have very good conditions when the water temp is that cold so um i'm not sure uh what happened and what went on the only logical thing that I could think was because it was in single digits that we ran into that issue where the fish just weren't feeding. Now, we just didn't throw shrimp. I threw all kind of lures, spoons, uh, Inger baits, voodoo baits. Charles threw some tandem lures. I mean, we, we threw a lot of stuff, uh, threw on bottom, changed the line size to the diameter of the line size went to 15 pounds went with the smaller hook went with split shot went with get her done rigs you know we fished on bottom and did some drift fishing we set up we spot locked a few places and just really waited for a bite to go down laddie even put on some dead shad stinky dead shad because at that point she's like look i don't care if i catch a gaff top or a hard head i want to feel the tug of something and uh, we all did we were all in the same boat and we all felt the same way well i mean we literally were in the same boat <laughs> but hey um let me know do you believe in the banana curse i mean is this a real thing have you ever been in a boat where those banana on board and you had uh, some kind of issue um 
I never have. I've never been on a boat with a banana before. And uh, I don't think I'm going to be on a boat with another banana again. 